In this lecture, we are going to be looking at the concept of method chaining in PHP. Let's just look at a very simple application that we can relate this quickly with. We have a method here called connect. When this method is called, it actually does nothing other than to set the connection type to PDO. And then we have a method here called create, which actually creates a database. And then right here, where we are actually making use of both methods, you can see that we made a call to database connect, and then we pass in the parameter, and then we made another call to database create. With method chaining, we can actually do all of this operation in one line, such that one method chains on the functionality of the other methods, and then we can do everything in that single call. Let's now see how we can achieve this in PHP. We are going to be updating the code that we have here. So the first thing I'm going to do, remove this. And then here, remember previously that I told you that we can use save or we use the keyword static. So this is basically doing the same thing for us. So when we use the keyword static, we are now also referring to a concept which is known as late static binding. So in order to enable method chaining for this particular method, which is called connect, we actually need to return all of the object. We need to return the database object after we have done with whatever we want to do inside of the connect method. So right now we set the private property PDO to be equal to the parameter method. Then we can come down to a new line and say return new static. So what we are saying is, once we are done with the operation on line 10, return the entire class, return new static. This is going to return the entire class object database. And then down here, I'm going to delete the get method. And then I'm going to change this to insert and then delete the static keyword. Inside of the var dump here, I'm going to now change the test connected to the database using pdo and then I'm going to add one more vadom statement here inserting into this table and then the values will be the data and then I need to create one last method here which is going to be a table method it's a public function table so what this method does is just going to get the name of the table that we actually want to insert into. So it's going to take a string, which will be name. And then this is going to set the private property table to be equal to the name that was passed in. And then we want to return this. So I have examples of all of the possibilities that can happen when we are using method chaining. It's either we are inside of a static method or we are inside of a method that is not static. So when we are inside of a static method, we return new static. But when we are inside of a method that is not static, we just return this, which refers to the current object that is being used. So what this does now is it allows us to chain on the functionality. We need to take note of the order of things here. First of all, we need to connect and then we need to specify the table before we actually insert. Okay, so let's now implement this below. I'm going to get rid of all of this. And then here we are going to say database, connect, and then we pass in the connection method, which is PDO. And then we do chaining to say we want to insert into a table, let's say users. And then we call the insert method. The insert method is going to take an array of data, which will be key value pairs. So let's say here, username, Terry. Let's say password, secret. And then now we can actually do a reload on the browser. And then you can see here connected to the database using PDO. And here it says notice array to string conversion. We have an error inside of the insert method. Let's get into the test editor and fix this. 
the error is coming from line 23 because data is an array and then we are trying to convert it to a string and bad dumping. So a very simple way for us to solve this would be to just use JSON encode to convert this to a string. So here I'm going to do concatenation and then inside of here we can say JSON encode and then pass it to the array. Let's do a reload on the browser. And now we can see the data that has been passed through. So here we say connected to the database using PDO, inserting into users values, username is Terry, and then password is secret. So this is just a simple way for us to illustrate method chaining in PHP. I'll see you in the next lecture.